Hello, this is uh, David from Group B31 for EECS 203. Um, today we'll be discussing the telescoping series. Um, we're going to be presenting first a derivation and then two examples to help solidify that. Um, so um, let's just begin straight away. So the telescoping series is a series of this form where you've got i equals 1 to n, this is some of, uh, actually we're going to use j here, j equals 1, a of j minus a of j minus 1. Okay, so you get a sum in this formula or format and you want to figure out what it equals. Well, let's just write out term by term. So we have uh, first term a of 1 minus a of 0. You see that by the j and j minus 1 plus a of 2 minus a of 1 plus, and that's going to continue, we're going to have a of n minus 1 minus a of n minus 2 plus that's n, n minus 2 a of n minus a of n minus 1 Did I just lose all the volume for some reason? No. no I think it did. Not entirely sure why that happened. Okay, so we're back here. Um, so this um, get all these terms from uh, 1 to n but you can see that several of them are going to cancel out. Um, not this term, but this term right here, the a of 1, cancels with this negative a of 1. So those cancel. Um, this a of 2 will actually cancel with a term in here, in the dot dot dot. Um, a of n minus 1 cancels with a of n minus 1. And this a of n minus 2 cancels in the dot 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 again. And we're left with the two circled terms. Um, yielding a sub n minus a sub 0. So that's pretty much the derivation and the idea behind the telescoping sum, telescoping series. Um, and so next we'll go on to show a few examples of that. Okay, this is the first example we're going to do today of a telescoping series. So we have the sum from n equals 1 to 60 of n over n plus 1 minus n minus 1 all over n. Now, we know this is telescoping sum because when we, you'll see when we, write, when we write the sum, each successive term has um, alternating uh, signs, which cancel out all but the first and uh, last term. So uh, we have we know the general form for the telescoping sum. Just to reiterate, is from j is equal to one to n of a of j minus a of j minus one. That's equal to the last term a of n minus the a of zero, a sub zero. Okay, to see this, see how we do the sum, we're gonna write out uh, a few terms to get some intuition about how the series is actually behaves. So for n equals one, we have um, it's one half minus zero, just plugging in n equals one to that equation. Then we have two thirds minus two thirds minus one half. Then we go and we have plug in this time is n equals three, three fourths minus two thirds. Now this is going uh, infinitely, but we're stopping at sixty, so we can just dot dot dot. And the last term um, is going to be sixty over 61 minus 59 over 60. And that's just found by plugging 60 into that equation. So we, if you look uh, closely, you'll see that every other term basically cancels out. So you have uh, 1 half is canceled out by a negative 1 half. 2 thirds is canceled out by a negative 2 thirds. And if I were to write more and more, you'll see 3 fourths cancel out. And all you end up left is what 60 over 61 and 0 because 59 over 60 is canceled out by um, when n equals 59. So we can calculate the final result using our equation for a telescoping series. So n equals 1 to 60, just of our equation.
it's just the last term, a of n, 60 over 61, minus uh, a sub 0. Uh, a sub 1 was 1 half, and then a sub 0 is 0, which is 0, and that's just simply 60 over 61. Is that it? Is that good? Yeah. Okay, I'm Megan, um, and I will be doing our second example here. We are going to do the sum of 1 over 4n squared minus 1 from n equals 1, and this one will be going to infinity. So, to begin, we're going to start by breaking it up into 1 over 2n plus 1, and that is going to be multiplied by 2n minus 1. And in order to solve this, we have to do partial fractions, which I'm going to assume that you guys know how to do. So I'll go through the steps, and I won't really explain that part. Um, but so we have a over 2n plus 1, and that's added to b over 2n minus 1. And for partial fractions, we're going to multiply that by 2n plus 1 and 2n minus 1. So, what we have here now is um, 1 equals a times 2n minus 1 plus b times 2n plus 1. So we're going to group the similar terms to get a or 1 equals 2a n minus a plus 2b n plus b and that still equals um, n times 2a plus 2b and then we have negative a plus b left over here. So, um, now we're going to break that up even farther through partial fractions and we get uh, 2a plus 2b equals 0 and negative a plus b equals 1. And so, um, for partial fractions we're going to say this equals um, b equals 1 plus a, so we can sub it into this one, and that would be 2a plus 2, 1 plus a equals 0. Okay, so now we're going to solve for a and b, and what we get here is, let's do it over here, um, 2a plus 2 plus 2a again equals 0. So our a equals 1 half. And then you're going to plug this into your b term over here. And you get b equals 1 minus 1 half equals 1 half. So now, um, that we have our a and b terms. We're going to um, put those back into the equation. Okay, so now we are going to make our sum again with our a and b terms. So we have our sum equals 1 half, which is our b term, over 2n minus 1. And we have that subtracted by 1 half, which is, this here is our a term and then that would be over 2n plus 1. And to show you guys this is a telescoping series, we're going to go through a couple of the numbers and try and find the solution. So to begin we have 1 half over 2 times 1 minus 1, and that's subtracted 1 half over 2 times 1 plus 1, and then we have the next term, or er, series of terms, which is 1 half over 2 times 2 minus 1 minus 1 half over 
2 times 2 plus 1, and we'll do one more down here, which is 1 half times 2, or 2 times 3 minus 1 again, and then we have a minus 1 half. 2 times 3 plus 1. And this just keeps going forever. So these terms now equal 1 half minus 1 sixth plus 1 sixth minus 1 tenth plus 1 tenth minus 1 fourteenth. And as we keep going. So from here, you see that these will start canceling out. We have minus one sixth and plus one sixth, minus one tenth, plus one tenth, and then as we keep going out, we'll see that these will cancel and so on and so forth. So really, all we have left is that one half. So our sum equals just that one half, and we're done. Okay, so to conclude what we just learned, we started off with the definition of what a telescoping series sum is. You can see right there, David went over that. And then we went over our first example with Nick, where we saw that the summation of from n equals 1 to 60 of the formula right there ends up being 60 over 61 minus 0, which if you can't tell is just that. And then our second example, which Megan went over, was the summation from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 divided by 4n squared minus 1, which equals 1 minus 1 half, which is simply 1 half. And that's really all you need to know about telescoping cell.